Hi, I'm Wei Zhen. Today I will show you how to do a ETEPS model. ETEPS is a very famous uh, model for social engineer. They used to analyze all the electrical defects of a building. Sometimes they also use for analyze of the earthquake. In Hong Kong, the acceptance criteria for the def electrical defects is height of building divided by 500. For example, if we have a building is about 71 meters, and then we just divide it by 500. We can see the allowable value for the deflection is 142 mm. And then for this ex example, the maximum deflection is 135. It means we can say this building is accepted and can be satisfied and comply with the uh, natural deflection. And this is a pinout of the ETAPS model. This is ground level normally. Nowadays in Hong Kong, we all have a transfer pay, that's why near the ground floor, they on only have uh, several columns and then they can have a flexible uh, layout for the use of the podiums or use for the shopping mall, something like this. And this is so-called transfer pay. And then we use 2.3 meter for this building. And on the typical residential building, normally the core wall should be used for uh, resisting the natural load and sometimes we use also use the columns and when we tie together this is so called the main beams this is used to resist the natural load and this is very effective rather than we just connect it between columns this is the fitted shape of the uh, models you can see this is a very typical residential building and below this is a 2.3 meters depth transfer pay and below you can see only few columns uh, after the transfer and during the e taps we can just easily find out the natural deflection and then just like this one the maximum deflection is 135 we can see this is acceptable for the natural deflection and then I will show you this is a model I make for the uh, ETAPS, you can see when we start the animation for the Y diversion, you can see this is the transfer pay. It can model easily what is happening during the movement. During the movement, what is normally we chat is we normally chat there's uh, any abnormal movement of some vertical elements. Sometimes we misconnect together and then they will have some abnormal movement. For the display value, we just see some of the story response post and then we choose the, for example, we choose the Y direction. We can easily find out the maximum direction. And based on this value, we can, we can easily find out whether the building is safe or not. That's it for my presentation today. Thank you for watching.